Hello there and welcome to Overclocking Your GTX 980 with Jolly Smash. Wow, that was calm! Now, what's going on here? For some reason my motherboard feels like 1.3 volts for only 4 gigahertz. Wow, okay. Asus, you are drunk. Moving on. So, uh, you probably come here to look up uh, how do you quickly overclock your GTX 980 or your 980 Ti or your 970. They're all the bloody same nowadays. Uh, what you want to do is, first of all, get yourself the following programs. I don't know if I'm all installed right now, because this is a new PC built a couple days ago. Um, so let's see. You'll need a temperature monitoring, the temperature monitoring program. So you've got CPU ID HW monitor here. Uh, I chose this one simply for the convenience of being able to monitor my CPU when I'm overclocking that, or my GPU when I'm overclocking that, even though MSI Afterburner, as you can see, here also tells you your temperature, which is an excellent segue to getting yourself a overclocking program. Now you've got MSI Afterburner here, or you've got something called OC Guru by Gigabyte. Uh, EVGA has like X Precision X16 or whatever it is. They're all the same, to be honest. I just stick with MSI because that's the one I've been using for a while. Now, uh, what you want to do next is after you've got all your pro oh yeah, and you want to get yourself a stress testing program, uh, or a couple of them actually, because um, you know you want stable overclocks. So something like uh, Unigine Valley. Uh, what else is there? There's a couple of them out there. I'll list them all in the description for you with uh, links to download. Um, I only use free ones because oh, <laughs> because you know I'm cheap like that. Get wrecked. So um. Once you've got all your programs and you've set them up, you're going to open your temperature here. And, well, if you've got MSI Afterburner, then it's fine. In fact, you don't even really need this, but it's nice to have a separate one. Um, and you're going to have your MSI Afterburner or whatever. And you don't need your stress testing programs open right now. Uh, so what you're going to do before you start anything is you're going to make a custom fan profile. Because 7 or 8 out of 10 times, the default one is terrible. Now... I think this is the default one, because that doesn't look... Actually, that's probably something I would do. Yeah, that's something I would do. Yeah, okay, I'm going to stick with my own crappy fan profile. If you're on MSI Afterburner, you click the little cog here, go to the fan tab, and set it up whatever makes you feel comfortable. If that's... You want the fans at max, uh, even at zero degrees, and that's that's up to you. It's, you know... Uh, usually I get mine started at about the 40... the 45, 50 degree range if I want silence, but if I just want extreme cooling, yeah, that's probably what I'd do. Uh, I'd probably add another whoa, thingy here. I think that's fair enough. Uh, yeah, you, start, you set your own custom fan profile, and then you'd want to go ahead and click this little cog here. Now, um, you want to click the auto in here, so, and then you click apply. Now you've got your custom fan profile because, as I said before, the default ones are usually pretty bad. In fact, EVGA's um, silent 0 dBm fans, they don't turn on until 60 degrees. Now, to me, that's not what I'm after. Like, it's nice that you're silent, but I'd rather have you running at 10% throughout the whole time. Um, but that's up to you. Then moving on. Now, um, before we touch any of these fancy clocks here, I'm just going to unlink this, set this to your max that you can. On this 980, it's 111 for some reason, or my previous 970 was 115. I don't know. And you'd want to set your temperature to about 80, 85. I'm not sure about AMD, but uh, with NVIDIA, that's where thermal throttling starts. And we don't want that, because with overclocking, you obviously want more performance. What's the point of heating it up to a point where it's going to reduce performance? Yeah. Now, uh, we don't need to touch our core voltage right now. That's more of an advanced thing. And what you're going to do to your core clock is you're going to you know, either use the slider or click here. And um, some people suggest everything. Some people go up by 10 increments all the time. I usually go up by 100. So I do that, and then I click apply. Now, I can't obviously do this right now, and it would take forever to do it. Um, and then I'd run my stress testing program. Uh, say Fermark because that's nice and quick run that for about I don't know five ten minutes uh, and if that works good on you that seems stable enough go about by another 100 so I already know my limit ish on this one it's 155 on the core 
Uh, so you'd go 200. Oh no, it's not stable. Okay, drop it down by 50. Oh Jesus, no. Drop it down by 50 and try that out. That didn't work. Drop it down by another 25. So, and you just keep dropping in increments until, you know, you've gone 101 and that's not stable. Clearly 100 is your most stable. So, for testing sake, I know 150 is pretty stable on mine. So we're gonna go with that. And then you'd run that for about 10 to 20 minutes on an intense stress, stressing program or two. So Fermark and Unigine Valley, they're all pretty stress stressful for uh, GPUs. And you'd run that pretty much for about 20 minutes. I mean, you could also play games if you want. Um, I mean, that's like the most real world stress test you're ever gonna get because you know, that's what you'll be doing with it. And if it's, you know, if it works on a stress test but not your games, then what's the point? So, you know, uh, find or do your own way of stressing that for a good solid time. 20 minutes is what I usually do, at least. All right, and once you've got that, your core clock set, you wanna go back to zero on it, and you wanna do the exact same thing with your memory clock. Easy peasy. Legit, the exact same thing. I'm not even gonna go through it, because it's the same. Now, once you find your highest core clock and memory clock, you plug them in, and you stress test that. Now, if you're using Fermark, in your previous stress tests, I'm sorry, I can't say it properly. Um, you would have been uh, stressing at about 1080p, full screen, but your anti, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, analyze, you know, the thing with the jagged edges, uh, would have been set to zero, to times zero, or maybe times two. When you're doing core clock and memory clock at the same time, you want to make sure it's like times four or times eight, because that will stress the memory clock with it. And, and you know, it stresses them both at the same time because Jagged Edges, oh my god, they just absolutely steamroll GPUs. Now, uh, you'd want to run this one for about, uh, again, on the longer side, 20 to 30 minutes, uh, just to make sure it's nice and stable. Now, if that doesn't work, you have two options here. You either drop the numbers down each by about 5 to 10, or we start getting a bit more dangerous and uh, up our core clock by about, I usually like to do intervals of 6 just because, you know, why not? It's what it used to do before the update. It used to go up in intervals of six. So, you know, up by an interval of six and try again. All right, now, uh, before we go on, um, most enthusiast overclockers say, even at plus 87 millivolts, it's not really gonna harm your GPU. It may reduce and will probably reduce the lifespan of your graphics card, but you know, you're overclocking. You should probably know that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say it's, it shouldn't be too dangerous, but that's just from my research. Do your own research, and of course I'm not liable for any damage you may or may not cause to your graphics card. Uh, so what we're going to do is, oh, I think this voids warranty as well. Uh, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to up it by about 6 millivolts and apply that stress test again. Again, uh, maybe 10 millivolts stress test again. You don't want to be having more millivolts than you need because otherwise you're just gonna be pumping more power through and more heat when it's unnecessary. And that could, uh, you know, not turn out too well for your lifespan or whatever, you know, not your lifespan, but the graphics card ones. Wow. Nice, nice meme. meme. I had to do that. So, oh yeah, I must have to, nope, I have to download it. Nah, screw that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice and short and snappy video, although the overclocking will most likely take you a couple hours. But you know, if you manage to get a solid overclock of 100 plus on the core and the memory, then I reckon it's, it'd be worth it. Now, usually it's not too worth it FPS wise, unless you've got nice big numbers. Um, I usually see five to 10, sometimes more, sometimes less FPS boost, depending on um, what game I play. Uh, but you could see more or less, you know, it's uh, all different, all graphics cards are different. So, um, I did this with the GTX 980, the Gigabyte Wind Force OC Edition, wow, get a shorter name, although it's not as worse as some monitor names I've seen, oh my god, they're all just numbers and letters, nah. Um, 
but it's pretty much the exact same process for, you know, your 980 Ti, your 970, your GT640, <laughs> reference to previous video about overclocking I made. Don't watch that, it's so cringe. Um, or watch it, up to you. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much the exact same throughout uh, the NVIDIA cards. I'm not, I can't speak for AMD. I haven't tried AMD. Um, I might. I hear they have great value for a dollar. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the 980 for now. In fact, for a couple of years, I'll be happy with the 980. I don't know who wouldn't be. Actually, I do. Well, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Um, I guess it's up to you, really. Uh, comment what you think I should do better or what you want to see in my videos more. Comment also what you'd like to see as my next video. I'm open to suggestions because I'm, you know, I have no inspiration whatsoever other than big powerful machines and Linus Tech Tips. Wink. Anyway, see you guys next time. Jolly Smash out.